The premier is also trying to sell his plans to tackle the lack of housing across Ontario. But critics of at least two of his government's proposals are hitting back tonight. CTV's Queen's Park Bureau Chief Siobhan Morris joins us now. Siobhan, this involves Mississauga's mayor. Speaking after the premier this morning, Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie really couldn't hide how unhappy she is with the government plan to allow a much bigger housing development on the waterfront than the city is comfortable with. The premier is using the housing crisis to justify big-footing Mississauga's plans for a waterfront development. I would have appreciated a heads up and further consultation. Late Friday afternoon, the province signed a ministerial zoning order for a condo project on Mississauga's waterfront. This MZO lets the developer double the number of units included from 8,000 to 16,000. This is not the reasonable amount of height and density for the area because what they're now attempting to build is Belleville or Woodstock um, on the land that's available. With not enough supportive infrastructure for tens of thousands of new residents, while the mayor welcomes promises of a new GO train station nearby. We don't have the road network in that area. Uh, we don't have the commitment for the schools, the paramedic stations, the police stations, the fire stations. Still tackling the supply of homes, the premier won't say whether he's eyeing other parts of the green belt to build on after a controversial removal of some land last fall. What we won't be doing, we won't be uh, building on ponds and, and marshes and wetlands. But Doug Ford says with more newcomers to Ontario expected in the years ahead. We need to make sure that we have homes. Opposition parties say between this and the premier calling the Greenbelt a scam. He sounds like a developer eager to open up land, not someone who's balanced and trying to protect the interests of all Ontarians. The NDP leader calls it disturbing. In the GTHA right now, we actually have 88,000 acres of land that's been approved for development. We don't need this. To meet the goal of building 1.5 million homes by 2031. When it comes to that housing development in Mississauga, councillors were already slated to talk about it tonight, but the mayor doesn't say there's, it doesn't see that there's any way out of the plan. Reporting live from Queen's Park, I'm Siobhan Morris. Michelle, back to you.